subtext. Thank you for watching. I'm John Windsor Cunningham. Acting without subtext, without the meaning that is behind lines, isn't very interesting. It's not interesting to watch. Here are three simple examples of subtext, two from television series and one from Shakespeare. First is from an extremely well-known television series in which a wife has to say to her husband the line, I want a divorce. And the actor playing the wife has a subtext for the line, which is that she doesn't want a divorce. So she says the line like this, something like this. She says, I want a divorce. And you know that she's frightened or that she's still in love with him or she doesn't, or she doesn't know what she wants or... You know that there's a problem still, and you look to her husband to see if he realises this, and you're interested in the scene. The next one is from a, a very popular television series in which a secretary goes into a boss's office, and her opening line is, I need to ask you something. And she says the line with a subtext that, for some reason, is that she's feeling a little nervous. She's feeling slightly nervous. So she says the line... I need to ask you something, uh, or something like that, and uh, we're, we're, we don't know why, we never find out why. Maybe she's just a shy, nervous person, maybe it's something to do with her boss, but we're interested, we want to know why, there's something going on. And in Shakespeare's Hamlet, in Shakespeare's Hamlet, Hamlet has to speak to his father, his, the ghost of his dead father, about death, they talk about death for ages. And it's possible for the actor playing Hamlet, if he wants to, if he feels it's right, if he feels it's natural, to, during the scene, also be unhappy, be almost crying, be hurt, because his father's dead. That might be going on at the same time, so that we might feel sorry for him, which is something when you mo watch most productions of Hamlet, you don't feel sorry for Hamlet at all. I think. Anyway, that's something that might be going on as a subtext for Hamlet, that he's upset. Even some film stars are more interesting than other film stars. We, they get more respect. They're doing more. They're more serious. There's something more going on because they're doing subtext. Actors like Anthony Hopkins are always doing subtext, almost always. And there's just more to them. And even if you're doing a monologue just for some audition for a drama school or something, if you get two or three of the lines with something else going on behind the lines, you will just look more interesting. For experienced actors, this is very easy to do because you're working with other actors all the time. You're seeing what they're doing with their lines and you're going to lots of acting classes. So it's natural that you gradually, hopefully, develop some other thing going on while you're saying your lines. Everything we ever say in our lives, ever, to anybody, ever, always has something else behind it. And if you're new to all this, then, well, talk to other people about your lines. Find someone from an acting class to talk to about it. Find an acting coach who, who understands you, so it doesn't have to be me. Go online and find someone. But you've got to see what behind the lines, you, or, or work on your own. You might just find that s thinking that the scene is taking place on your birthday, so you're in rather a good mood throughout the whole scene. It might just fit it, just make, make the, the scene work for some reason. But try everything. This is really particularly necessary with some scripts, with some plays, because there's not much going on. And here I'm going to sound unkind, but there you go. Um, <laughs> in the uh, plays of Tennessee Williams, who doesn't, doesn't know anything about women, really, well, he doesn't. He just doesn't. The things he says about women are obvious. They're obvious. They're, they're ridiculous. They, anyone in this family would know about those things. It just doesn't make any sense. He doesn't understand women. So, when actors are playing the women in Tennessee Williams' plays, they need to bring some experience of themselves being a woman into the part. Then it's interesting. Then there's a reason for us to watch it. In the plays of Arthur Miller, who writes plays about social issues as though no one's ever thought of them before. They're obvious issues. Everyone knows about those issues already. They're dull. But if the actors involved in these social issues are worried, are 
petrified or scared stiff about the effect of these issues on their lives, then we'll be interested, then we'll be involved. And one last thing about subjects that is particularly wonderful and exciting and fun and enjoyable, which is what acting's meant to be, of course, is not just meant to be bloody hard work. Is It's that when we have a subtext to our lines, we don't have to worry about remembering them. Imagine the actor in that television series going into the studio, into the room where she has to say that line to her husband. And she can she have her mind completely empty. She can, she can forget all the lines. And she can just go in and see this husband standing there and know that she's got to say something to him and know she's scared of him. And the feeling that she's scared will bring the line back to her because the line is hers. It's not the writer's, it's hers. And she finds herself saying, I want a divorce. And it's real. It's interesting. It's truthful. But the point is, it's, it's easy to rem natural to remember because the lines are just there. They're yours. So, I'll just finish by saying five words, which are, I wish you good luck. And when I say it like that, it just means, well, I hope this helped. But that isn't how I feel. I think that we're not dinosaurs. I think that acting has changed in the last hundred years. I think that acting is more important and more interesting and more exciting and more real and more of an opportunity for an exciting life. And that those five words mean that I think that this whole business of subtext is the main thing what matters with acting. So when I say I wish you good luck, I wish you good luck. It's important, you see. It's important to me, anyway. And there we are, subtext. Thank you for watching.